before I take this first motor out and put the bigger motor in, I need to benchmark performance so that I know whether it's been worth it. So I've got myself set up with a second phone running a GPS app that tracks speed and acceleration. I'm going to do a little bit of driving around just to see if I can get some benchmarks for performance. And frankly, try and improve on my first drag run. <laughs> where I only got up to 40 miles an hour, but nonetheless, it took me 18 seconds. Now that was uphill and I probably wasn't giving it everything, but nonetheless, that's pretty pathetic. I don't have any really good country roads around here. I live in the middle of a city. Even what were 50 limits are now 30 limits. And the traffic's not great, so it's not a perfect day for doing this. I ought to go out early in the morning, really. But I should maybe be able to get up to 60 on the motorway, on a short stretch of motorway. Maybe 70. And although it won't be a you know straight run on a flat strip of track, it should at least give us something to benchmark against when the second motor goes in. We're getting close to a motorway junction now. There's a nice short stretch just around Stockport. I'm hoping that we can go from the lights down the slip road, get down to the roundabout at the bottom, turn around and come back. That'll give us one measure going accelerating down the slip road, as long as nothing gets in our way and one measure accelerating up the slip road in the other direction. Maybe we can do an average of the two because they're probably roughly even in terms of slope. Oh, well, based on the initial run, <laughs> anything under 30 seconds would be amazing. Come on, lights, go red, go red, go red, go red, go red. It's not often I'm trying to wishing lights would go red. Uh, they're not gonna, right. This isn't gonna be a very good run. Because you have to stop for the benchmark to start properly. <laughs> 30 seconds to 40 miles an hour that time but obviously not a proper run may need to come out and do this on a clearer day with less traffic I mean, people ask me how fast does this car go well doing nearly 60 miles an hour without any trouble at all. Only in third gear. See if we can get in a better position on the way back. One more set of lights between us and the motorway. Really hoping that the car ahead gets through and we don't. So we've got a nice uh, start. Okay, maybe not. Right, foot to the floor. Into second. Come on, Kashkai, come on, Kashkai. No, I've had to brake. We'll take my foot off. 
this is uphill. Yeah, it really struggles up the hill. She hit the uh, the rev limit basically of the motor there and ran out of traction before I got into third gear. Not sure I've ever done that before. Some combination of revs and current means this motor, or rather the inverter, trips out if you don't change gear. But that was our best 0 to 20. 4.6 seconds to 20. <laughs> yeah, a Model S plaid this is not yet. That video was all shot a week and a half ago now. It's now the Jubilee weekend. And this morning, I finally got a chance to go out and uh, get some runs in without the hideous traffic. I went out about six o'clock this morning. Uh, I didn't bother filming it. There's only so much of video footage of me that you want to see. In fact, I shot a load more that day that I went out, but it just gets a bit repetitive, really. My car going very, very slowly and me joking about it. So I went out this morning, got a load of runs without traffic and have compiled the data which you can see on screen now. What you can see here is about 10 different runs that I did, well it's exactly 10 different runs, 10 different runs that were good. Um, I had to discount a couple because they were a bit spurious, uh, minus 75 seconds, uh, naught to 20. Um, but I got 10 good runs in um, and what you can see from the chart is that they're fairly consistent. Um, I'm averaging around um, best 1.5 seconds, but typically around two seconds, uh, naught to 10 miles an hour, um, up to about um, five seconds, naught to 20, best of 4.2, um, up to 10 seconds, up to 30, best at about eight, uh, and around 15 seconds, naught to 40. Um, I went a completely different route today and went hunting for some 60 limits where I could start and stop in range. And I just don't think there are any. Uh, I don't think there are any close to my house. So I'm gonna have to leave the naught to 60 for when I've got a bit more range. But naught to 40 is a good benchmark. Naught to 40, 40, 30 or 40 is a good benchmark and realistically this is a city car it's not going to be doing loads of motorway or country lane miles so that's kind of where the performance counts and that we can benchmark against the new motor. So I hope what I've done here is set a bar, a very low bar, uh, one that I'm very confident that the new motor will beat but the question is is how much will it beat it by? Um, I mean clearly a Model S Plaid is a ridiculous benchmark but I'd certainly like slightly more fun levels of performance out of this car, even with the you know, the budget motor that's going in. It's bigger than the Outlander front motor, or rather front generator that I've got acting as a motor right now. Uh, but it's not enormous. It's not as big as a Leaf motor. Um, it's certainly not as big as the planned motor for my GT for my next project. So this is the level i mean this is where we're at in terms of my first attempt at a conversion the performance is pretty pathetic the new motor that goes in should be in, in the next few weeks uh should be an improvement on this but how much we shall see i'll have to repeat this exercise but will it be enough that's the question um and will i end up doing this again in a year's time if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that my plan is to have two running EV swaps, both BMW Z3 based, uh, and have one off the road for six months while I drive the other one and then swap them over. And so let's just say if this doesn't work out, this may not be the last motor upgrade that this car gets. Well, we shall see. If you like this, uh, 
and want to see more of it, please do subscribe, uh, hit that like button so other people can find it as well. Much appreciated.